What is up guys and welcome back to Keeping Up With Crypto. Just got off work, poured myself a glass of some fine Irish whiskey, and it's time to make a video. So, today what we're talking about is the market crash slash correction we are seeing right now. Market cap is currently at $646 billion, Bitcoin dominance 34.4%. And when you go down, everything's in the red besides gas gas and neo you know those have been consistently in the green which is kind of weird kind of weird but um everything else pretty much in the red this is nothing so we don't count that <laughs> but uh, same thing here but everything else is pretty much in the red everything is getting slaughtered lots of money taken out of the market this is obviously wells at play um as we've seen lately and um i'm trying to figure out what the what the agenda is you know we've heard a lot of different things like you know this is the time of year that businesses struggle this is the time of year, which i can attest to that and this is the time of year that um you know people are kind of low on cash before um you know income tax and everything like that and we could argue that over the next couple weeks to a month month and a half we'll start seeing income tax checks come in and all this other stuff and wall street getting paid and blah 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 and the market will get pumped back up and um I think you'd be right if you said all that good stuff. I'm not saying you're wrong. Um, I think that this will not last too long. Maybe a few more days. Uh, maybe a week. We just don't know, obviously. But um, money will get dumped back in the market pretty soon. There's just too many people in this. I think that right now a lot of the whales in Wall Street are trying to uh, flush out the weak hands. Um, you know, the the average Joe, me and you, who say, oh man, I'm losing all this money, I'm going to pull my stuff out, and uh, that way they could buy everything up and get ready for um, the coming weeks and months, because this thing's going to be big, you know, Goldman Sachs starting up a trading desk, you've got Wall Street, all these guys trying to get in on it, right, um, you've got the futures contracts, you've got all this crazy, crazy stuff going on, so um, Bitcoin and cryptocurrency are here to stay, don't get, a, don't get scared about that. And if there's one thing I could tell you is hold your positions, um, hold your positions, hold your positions, because think about it this way. Everything's in the red right now, but as soon as money gets dumped back into the market, all your stuff's going to be in the green again. You know what I mean? It's typically that's how it works. You know, once money gets poured back in, all this is going to turn to green and your positions that you've been faithfully holding are going to pay off. So, and you never know exactly where all the money is going to go to. So who knows? It could go into your favorite cryptocurrency. Who's to say, you know, we love Stellar Lumens here on the channel, right? Who's to say when the money gets dumped back in that it doesn't get dumped back into Stellar and Stellar jumps up this list? Who knows? We have no idea where the money is going to come back. But what we do know um, is that history shows that the money will come back and this is just temporary. Um, so, you know, typically in cryptocurrency, a mark that it has hit, it will reach again, and usually it surpasses that mark. So we could honestly, on the bounce back, and this is my prediction, on the bounce back, we could see a trillion dollar market cap. Uh, I don't know when the bounce back is going to be, but I can certainly say that we could see a trillion dollar market cap on the bounce back. Uh, anyways, I wanted to move on to the next topic of this video, which is, I'm not going to call anybody out specifically. I was planning on it. I was thinking about it, but I said, you know, Sean, that's not really the right thing to do. So we're not going to call them out, but there's been several people on the channel who said, oh man, you told me to invest in Tron and now it's going down, 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 blah, 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 blah. And I just want to let you know, uh, to those of you who are commenting those things, you got to have some level of maturity. If you are an adult, which you obviously are, and if you are investing in cryptocurrency, you need to be mature and you need to do your own research, do your due diligence. I don't tell you guys to buy at all time highs. I tell you guys to buy at lows, sell at highs. I never told anyone to get in at an all time high. And we all know that every single video I've ever made, I've said, I'm not a professional investment advisor. These are just my opinions. So if you take my opinion as fact and go out and get a position on something, don't get mad at me when it goes down. I don't want to hear about it. It's not my problem. These are just my opinions I'm sharing with you guys. And, you know, those of you who are subscribed to the channel, you guys value, you obviously value me and Xander's opinions. And we definitely appreciate that. But this is a new market and we certainly don't know 
anything and everything about it. But with that being said, don't think that just because you invested in Tron and it went down that that was a poor investment. Now, the price you got it at certainly wasn't seven cents. Um, certainly wasn't there, but I'll be honest with you guys. I talked about Tron and I got my position at Tron at four cents. So I'm still up. Okay. I'm still up. So either way, Tron has visited 30 cents and I never told you guys to buy at 30 cents. So if you bought anything under 30 cents, then you're good. Just hold. Don't sell. You only lose. You only lose money when you sell. That's it. That's the only time you can lose money is when you sell. So hold your positions. We've seen a cryptocurrency time and time again when a certain coin has an all-time high. Once it surges again, it always has a correction. And once it surges again, it goes way past its all-time high. It always breaks that barrier. So no matter where you got in at, it's going to get past that, in my opinion, in my estimation, right? So anyway, I just think we need to have a little more maturity on the channel. And as the channel grows, I just want to put that out there, guys. Uh, this is my opinion. This is not professional investment advice. So if you're going to, you know, just hear me talk about something and then say, oh, I'm going to go invest in it, then you're doing this whole thing wrong. Do I want you to value my opinion? Obviously, yes. That's why we make these YouTube videos to help you guys out. But at the same token, you have to go out and do your own research, guys. Uh, and that's that's just what it is. You know, I never put my money in something without doing my research, even if it's someone a youtube channel i respect and there are a couple that i really respect their opinions but um i still don't just throw my money at it unless i do my research I'll give you a perfect example um altcoin buzz if you don't know about them you should definitely subscribe to their channel um they are one of the biggest youtube channels for cryptocurrency right now they're really good i certainly recommend them they're one of the only cryptocurrency channels i recommend here on youtube certainly one of the only ones that i would ever give a shout out on um but they recommended ken multiple times over the last couple months and i really like ken because they're working with kick the messenger app um but after doing a little more research and seeing that i could only in my will of knowledge i could only pick it up on ether delta things like that i decided not to take a position out on ken yet and um you know if I miss out on Ken, I miss out on Ken. That's just the way it is. But I say that to say that even though I really respect Altcoin Buzz, Jeff and Steve and Shaylin and all those guys, I didn't just, as soon as I heard them say Ken, jump into that position. I did my research. I did my due diligence. I do like the project and I would certainly have jumped in if this was on uh, Binance or Cryptopia because those are the two exchanges I'm most familiar with. But um, being on Ether Delta, I'm just not 100% comfortable with it. And uh, so I decided not to take out a position. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm Sean, and this has been Keeping Up With Crypto. If you are new here, subscribe, leave a like on the video, and we will see you in the next one. Thanks.